What's up guys, Shane Starnes here with Droid Motor X. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to quickly and easily update to the latest beta build of Android 7.0 Nougat for the Galaxy S7 Edge and S7. The first thing you wanna do is head to the link in the description. That will bring you to this page. You'll go ahead and grab the over the air link. So there's two over the airs right now for the Verizon version. I'll be sure to include links to the proper files for other carrier versions. Go ahead and grab this first over the air uh, build. Once you have that downloaded, you'll wanna go into your file manager, go to your download folder, and then make sure to place that on your SD card. Don't put it in a folder. Make sure it is in the root of the SD card. So you do need an actual SD card for this to work. Go to your go to your build number here. Make sure that you're on PH1. I've already updated, so I'm actually on PK4. Make sure you're on PH1 for the Verizon variant. Uh, basically, you just want to be totally stock and unrooted and on the very latest build for your carrier. And then you can install this update. So whatever carrier you're on, make sure you're on the latest build that your stock unrooted. From there, you'll just go ahead and power off the device. Okay, now once you're powered off, you're gonna hold volume up, home, power. You'll see this screen, it says installing the system update, it's going to fail. All right, you'll end up on this screen here and you'll go down to apply update from SD card. If for some reason you do not have the SD card, you can actually download the update file to your computer and then place it in the same folder as your ADB and a fast boot files. I'll be sure to include a link of where you can grab the ADB and fast boot files. Then you would essentially open a command window up in that folder and then do ADB push update.zip. That would be applying the update from ADB, but we're not doing that. We're actually applying from the SD card. So you would select power and then you would go to update.zip and select power. I have already installed it, so there's really no need for me to install it. As you guys can see, I'm already on 7.0 PK4, so I don't need to install this. I'm actually just going to go back. All right, but the update takes about 15 minutes to install, and then once your phone reboots, it's going to actually look like it's in a boot loop. It's going to try to load about two or three times before it finally loads, and then you will be on the official beta build of Android 7.0 Nougat. So guys, that about wraps it up for this video. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.